So we've written a letter and now we're going to spell check. Um, if you see, it's got the red underlines for things that are spelled incorrectly and I can right click and fix it that way. Or you can see some blue mistakes and it'll say, okay, what do I want to do there? Now I like to use the spelling and grammar check. So these are ribbons at the top and you can see how the toolbars change as I click on the ribbons. So I'm going to click on the review ribbon and I'm going to click spelling and grammar. Now it's going to ask me questions. So I like to do this because it's going to make me a better writer as I go. So this says this is a possible question. If this is a question, it needs a question mark. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to say change and it add the question marks. Okay, this says I have a mistake in spelling. So I need to click making, which is what I want to say. And I want to say change. Now it also defines and kind of helps me see what these words are. And my friend, I'm going to click friend and I'm going to click change. And then I'm going to say if they do, see there's two different do's and I want it to be do and I'm going to fix coming and enough. So I'm fixing all of these mistakes. Now there are some things it has not found. How am I going to get those fixed? That's our next one. So you need to sign up for a free Grammarly account. Now make sure you do it this way. There are ways that if you try to sign up for Grammarly that it is going to try to make you take a subscription and then you'll actually have to sign up for a new account. Um, so it should look like this when you sign up for it. Get Grammarly. It's free. If it does not, um, then you need to try to uh, type in free Grammarly or Grammar Checker and get to a page that looks like this so that you can sign up for the free version of Grammarly that students need to use. Now I am going to paste into Grammarly. Let me show you the easiest way to do that. I have this letter. I'm going to do Control A. I'm on a PC. That selects everything. And then I'm going to do Control C. And that copies everything. I can also do this with highlighting and right clicking, but I'm just using the hotkeys because they save time. Now I'm going to go to Grammarly and I am going to just click New and put it in here. Now I am using the Pro version of Grammarly, which is going to have all the features in it. And I'm just going to do Control V, which is going to paste everything in there. Now it's going to find a lot of stuff that Word did not find. So it says this word is confused. I'm going to click here. Did I mean new? Yes, I did. I'm going to click here to correct. Okay, it says I miswrote smartphone. Now, I've still got a few other things um, that are not quite right, and I can go ahead and fix it here. I, I'm surprised it didn't catch this one, but I do have to spell out ones. Um, and it also didn't catch this text here um, that needed to be caught. So I needed to fix that. Um, and then here we go. So I've got all this information. I'm ready to paste it back. I'm going to do Control A, Control C for copy. I'm going to go back here into Word and I'm just going to do Control V and it pastes over what I have. Now, there's also one other thing I want to proofread. You can see my friend just told me that you are dead. Um, it shouldn't be Jut, it should be just, and you do have to still proofread. This is a perfect example of that. So this is going to be uh, two tools, the spelling and grammar in Word, and then the extra little grammar check in Grammarly are really going to help you have great papers and things that you have, but you still always have to proofread.